Hey guys, welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. So just, what the, does this happen to you? Do you guys have, like, you drop in and your leg, like your torso flips around the wrong direction? Like, that happens to me all the time. And like, so it used to happen to me a lot, like a few months ago, but then it went away. And I think it was maybe like two updates ago, it started happening again. Like, <laughs> every time I drop in, my my legs flip around backwards. And so then when I start, my torso has to turn around and stuff. But anyway, so <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the way of his Zeus there. And I'll, I'll pop this once I get in here. It only takes five seconds to turn a beacon. So I'll have uh, five seconds to turn it. And then I'll have some time to retreat uh, before my stealth runs out. But um, anyways, as promised, I'm trying to get you guys uh, a little more Fujin footage there. Um, we, we talked about it the other day. I've, I've done a couple rounds in a row right now. Um, and I've, uh, my, my first one was on Springfield and that one wasn't great. <laughs> um, Springville's Springfield is uh, pretty hit or miss as far as, uh, as far as Fujins go. Cause it takes so long to get places. And if there's, I mean, if there's anybody who's sniping, like you're pretty much a, a wide open target. <laughs> So anyways, um, so yeah, I've done a couple in a row. I'm hoping that this round's a little bit better. And this round, I actually put in this stalker. This is my first round of this. I just thought I'd put it in for fun. <laughs> um, I haven't, uh, I haven't run this setup very frequently. So, oh, let's see if we can get this guy here. And then we'll come in here and see if we can turn this beacon back. Um, so it takes 10 seconds to turn it from uh, red to blue, but looks like we're not going to get that because of this guy coming in so we'll hit him and see if we can back off i think we're probably gonna get yeah <laughs> taken out like so anyways let's uh let's jump into the fujin i'm seeing a bunch of like leos and stuff like that what the oh i thought he was trying to like get my attention or something like that but <laughs> looks like he was just shooting his hydras um anyways i'm seeing a lot of leos and griffins um and then we've got like that that Patton over there running the aphids Let's see. No, I don't have an angle on that guy. All right, who do we have here? Okay, so looks like we got. Oh, that Zeus isn't cool. Okay, we're in range though, so we'll just uh, we'll block these aphids, and then we should be able to take him out fairly quickly. Surprised uh, with his low health. Um, <laughs> thanks for pushing me, man. <laughs> Surprised with that guy's uh, low health that he hadn't lost his Zeus yet. Uh, that tends to run out pretty quickly, um, or or get blown off pretty quickly anyway. Um, but yeah, there's always a chance that they'll stay on. But that's, yeah, definitely one of the things that they have to balance is high health. Let's see if we can grab this guy really quick. He's vulnerable because he just jumped in. Uh, he doesn't have a way to escape there. Um, there we go. Block those aphids. Yeah, so like I talked about, I think I mentioned this in the video that I posted the other day. Uh, make sure you're keeping your eye out for jumping bots and aphids and stuff because they may be jumping for you or getting ready to fire at you. So like right there, I just block those aphids as well. So I'm going to let my shield charge up just a little bit here because um, uh, they'll probably start chain firing those aphids if, okay, he, he started focusing on the golem on my team there. All right, so this guy's coming up. Let's see if we can grab him. Yeah, he just dropped his shield, so should be able to deal some pretty quick damage into him. So actually what I should have done in this situation, since it's a rhino, I mean, luckily he didn't put his shield back up, but since it's a rhino, um, you'd want to fire all of them, um, all of your Tehrans at the same time instead of alternating them. Um, that way you get as much damage as possible in before he starts to put his shield back up. Because once that thing starts going up, that damage starts to get blocked. So, okay, here's a boa. Um, problem here is he's got that Tehran too, so I want to see if I can dodge and avoid that. But I'm, I'm going to take some of his thunder damage, which is not cool. Um, all right. I think we can probably grab this guy. Looks like we're going to shot with a thunder from behind. So let's see if we can just shoot this guy really quick. Nice, we got it. Did you see that on the top right? <laughs> I wasn't sure if we got that before I got taken out, but we totally got that uh, that Raijin kill. I think that was, what was that, like like five or six kills with that Fujin? We'll have to go back and count afterwards, but um, I feel like that was a pretty good run there. And it looks like we're playing against a clan here. Um, yeah, I think I think all but one of these guys are clan, are clan peoples, and we're just a bunch of randoms. We're doing pretty well. Looks like, uh, I mean, they're, they're really killing us on that center beacon we can't hold that to save our lives which is a problem but um but yeah i feel like we're doing pretty well for being against a clan oh except i just realized oh never mind <laughs> i was looking up at the bots on the top and it it said that we had four but uh two more guys just dropped in oh we lost one though just hit this guy around the corner here he's got aphids so i want to play it a little bit careful 
Um, if we can here, I'm sure there's, they'll start focusing me in a minute. And I think there's one other guy with the aphids over there too. But um, if they start shooting at me, I'll see if we can... Oh, like this. So you see that uh, aphid that just come, came at me? Those uh, weren't able to do any damage with me stepping backwards like that. You know, there's, there's a couple that'll sneak around your shields and stuff. But uh, for the most part, they don't really make it. So, all right. Looks like that guy might be coming up. He's going to be our target. I'm just watching for aphids over there. I don't want to get hit, but they're focusing on my rhino buddy there, so I'm feeling okay stepping out here. So let's turn and see if we can... Uh, oh, did not turn fast enough. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm going to say let's turn and see if we can uh, catch some of those aphids. So like I was saying before, um, when you're in your Lancelot, you need to step backwards and face where the aphids are coming from. I wasn't able to block those ones because I think I, I'm missing a shield right now. Um, that's the problem is they do tons of damage to your to your shield there. So that should have taken me out um, if, if I was moving forward or um, or if I hadn't tried to step back or anything like that. That should have taken me out. But um, yeah, luckily I was able to stay alive there for a second and I did minimal damage, I think, into that Raijin. But um, something's better than nothing. Uh, look, my team should be able to get back. I, I'm not going to waste my, my time going to our side beacon there. I'll let my teammates take him out. There's no sense in me running that way when all the action's this way. They're taking the center beacon over here. Um, yeah. So, all right. So, and same thing with the Galahad. You want to face the trajectory of him. So he had curved those, so I had to face the curve there, um, and then uh, step backwards. That's your best bet um, for for dodging or absorbing damage with aphids. With Galahad shield, um, almost always you'll end up taking um, some damage. Like a, a few aphids will get through, but it's usually less than ten thousand. Um, and if you think about it, that could be. Oh, I thought that was a guy with aphids up there. That's a golem. I think that guy has aphids right there, that Leo. I'm trying to see if I can tempt him to shoot him. <laughs> oh, luckily he, he's standing out there waiting for me. He got sniped by my, my teammate there. Oh, I should have had my shield up already. That was stupid. That was really dumb. I took a ton of, I, what was that, like 30,000 of unnecessary damage? Let's see if we can get that guy. Oh, crap, that stalker's got aphids too. So that's your your other uh, best bet is if you can run uh, laterally to those. Let's oh crap, that's a Lancelot. I'm done. <laughs> I'll have to drop into my last bot here, my my other Galahad. Oh, uh, we were doing really well, but uh, we've had that guy camping over there um, on my team. I'm not sure if that's his only bot left or what. Um, if it is, that's I mean that's totally fine. That's understandable that he's doing that. Let's see if we can get the stalker really quick. Luckily, he just stood there for a second. We took down well maybe like a third of his health. His Raijin's facing the other way, so this would be a good time to shoot him. I'll put my shield up. Let me uh, back up against this wall here so I don't take those aphids from the left. All right. I bet his shield's pretty close to done. <laughs> of course, I turn right when his uh, sniping weapon comes back. Ah, stupid stalker. Uh, this is this is really, really close. So they've got two guys. We've got three. We've got three beacons, but they've got a stalker. And it looks like we've got a Fury and a Raijin <laughs> on my team over there. I just saw a Fury guy spawning in. Oh, shoot. All right. Uh, oh, shoot, I tried to step back and, uh, and take that with my shield, but I just took a, a ton of damage there. Um... Your best bet with Galahad, it's narrower um, sideways than it is front ways. So its best bet for absorbing uh, aphid fire is actually um, running uh, sideways away from him so that your shield is facing the aphid still, but it's not engaged. Um, and then it's less likely that you're going to get hit by one of the aphids coming through. Like right there, I got hit, I think, by one aphid. Um, if I was running sideways, I'll see if I can get it. Let's see if I can get it right here. I think this is about over anyways, but I'll turn my shield here. He'll fire at me in a second. So you see there, um, he didn't do any damage with either of those aphids with me running that way. And that's not perfect, and you have to have the trajectory just just right, which isn't uh, easy to do. I think we're going to lose. Dang it. Yeah, there's no way, because I'm trying to tempt him to like come over towards this beacon, but I don't know. I think my best bet, I think I'm just going to run over towards this beacon here. My teammates are gone. I'm the only one left, it looks like, and uh, that Leo took our, our home beacon, and yeah, I don't think we can win this. I'm just going to see if I can touch this beacon a little bit over here. Yeah, looks like not. But <laughs> anyways, I think that was a pretty good round. We talked about some good stuff. We talked about uh, avoiding some aphids and, and how to uh, deal with some of the damage from those and mitigate that and stuff. So anyways, if you guys have anything else you'd like to see in the future, make sure you drop a comment below. That was a, that was a really good round. Look at the scores on, on both sides. That was, I feel like that was really well played. Um, 
I really enjoyed that. That was fun. Um, and it was fun chatting with you guys. But yeah, drop a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, smash the thumbs up button if you liked it. Um, hit the thumbs down if you didn't. And I w if you could, just uh, let me know what you didn't like and we can uh, improve that in the future. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You're amazing. Have a good one.